Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to talk about the burndown reports and how it works. So on the screen, I've got a simple project with 10 tasks. What I want to do is get the burndown report on the screen and then show you how it works. So before I do anything else, I need to just save a baseline. So I'll go to the project tab, set baseline, no baseline set, so I'm going to set a baseline. So that's the plan. Now I've got a baseline. I can go to reports, and the burn down report is under dashboards. It's the first option, like so. You get two by default. I'm going to get rid of this one on the left, but before I do that, I just want to click on the screen onto the view tab and split the screen so I can get the Gantt chart in the bottom part of this view so you can actually see it. So I'm just going to delete this one on the left, which is the burn down for work hours. I haven't got any people on these tasks, but it, obviously if you did have people on these tasks, that would be relevant. But I just want to focus on the task burn down, which you can see on the right here. So I'm just going to delete this one off. OK, I've got rid of that one. You just basically need to right click on it. And um, when you click this symbol here, you can right click and it comes up with cut. So I've done that got rid of all of that, just going to make this a bit wider so you can see it. Uh, what you can see across the top is a number of tasks, that's that grey line and then you've got this orange line which is the remaining tasks and then you've got a baseline line there, the blue one, which you can't see at the moment. Now if I add a new column, so just click on this and do percentage complete, so you've got that column. Now if you want you can um, just move that over a bit so it's closer to this side. If you want, you can use the tracking Gantt, but um, I'm just going to leave it on this entry table and the normal Gantt chart view, the default one. So what you've got here is a line. Now, if I change this first task to 100% complete, you see what happens there. The, the actual number of tasks has come down. So if I do the next one to 100% complete, not 199, 100. That's come down to eight remaining tasks. So that's basically what that's telling you. Now the timeline, I'll just put these back to zero so you can see how that works. The timeline is set to weeks at the minute, which is a bit, a bit long compared to the duration of this project. So I'm just going to click on that, go across the field list and edit the timeline, change it to days and single days like that okay and then the timeline just becomes a little bit longer and you can pull it over if you like like so so if i change the duration of this first task to two days watch what happens so the baseline comes on the baseline line comes on and the baseline is due to finish on the 7th of july but you see these two days and i'll push that into monday so that's what's going to happen if you, as you play around with this the lines are going to change, get wider and wider, and this is just moving along. Now, if I start doing 100% complete on some of these as well, you can see this remaining task line coming down as it did before. So that's coming down. So as I complete these, it comes down. And it's planning wizard telling me I can just drag that down, but that's okay. And then if I put three days on that you can see the gap between the baseline and, the, and this line is getting bigger and bigger basically tells you there that if you have a steeper if your remaining task line is steeper then your project may be late which it is it's a lot steeper so as you're coming down and you're changing these that stays the same. Let's say that was three days and that's gone to three days. You haven't actually done them yet. So if you make it 100%, I'll just drag these down. So you can see the changes I'm coming down. So now I've only got a couple of tasks left, three tasks. And we're way, we're way off what we planned to be. So we should have finished there. Now we're going to finish there. And this then not is not a great project plan. It was a bit off. And then as soon as I pull that right down, so there's no more remaining tasks, no more remaining actual tasks. But you get the line between the two 
of the baseline. So you should have finished on the 7th, but you're not actually finished until the, t until the 21st. So that's just a quick look at how you can utilize the burn down charts with your Gantt chart and see what the impact will be. As you are making these changes, you can see it when you've got a split screen like this. So hopefully this video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.